Hello there Carpologists, I'm Joe and today we're going to be taking a look at this. Now this is the 5,000 size reel but you've also got this reel available in a 6,000 and 7,000 but when Mitchell sent me this 5,000 size reel on its own I thought perfect, I use it for surface fishing. Great excuse to get out, try and get some fish on the surface and properly test this. Now I'm currently at Shearwater, it's pretty strong wind, we've had heavy rain, it seems like summer has been and gone but uh, I'm going to do my best to get on the surface and give this reel a proper test. And because this is the 5,000 size reel, it's balanced quite nicely. This is probably the lightest sort of rod I'd go with. This is a 12 foot two and a quarter. It's probably just on the heavier side of that. So rods slightly stiffer than this, slightly high, heavier or whatever, this is gonna be better suited to. But this is probably the lightest sort of setup I'd go for. But it worked fine. It cast out really nicely. And I just got some fish mugging me off, but um, hopefully if I hook into something, I'll be able to talk you through how it feels actually playing fish with it. And then, there we go. Clutch was set perfect. Really smooth, actually. I'm sure you can probably hear that. This clutch is so smooth. There's no jolts or jumps to it. It slowly builds into it. Starts to tick. Off it goes, really smooth. So for those of you that don't like using clutches because sometimes they can be a bit jumpy and prefer to use backwind. If you do want to use the clutch on this, ultra smooth. Just soaking up all of those. Joint with the rod as well, it's a nice little balanced setup at the moment, but that every little surge it makes, cushioning it really nicely. And because the drag is so smooth, you can adjust it really fine tuned. It's, it's not a half a turn and you lock solid sort of thing because you've got the bait runner aspect to this there's no need to have a quick drag on it setting it perfectly to how you want it just the amount, right amount of resistance and i've just tightened it up slightly and then that was probably half a turn just to tighten it ever so slightly so it is very minute adjustments and it works nicely because if this fish starts to surge off again slacken off and make sure i've still got enough resistance on it i'm not giving him too much but uh, at the same time just leave me in control basically Perfect. Set the clutch again. Absolutely whizzes out. It's a joy to use this. Proper smooth as well. It's got 4.3 gear ratio. So when it brings in, that's 78 centimeters per turn of the reel. So it does crank in a fair amount for a smaller reel. I've got fish all over me again. So hopefully I get to test this out a second time in quick succession. But uh, also the stylistics of it, it's a nice matte black sort of finish, stubby-ish body, but it's still got plenty of line capacity on there. So if you wanted to use it for a distance fishing, you'd probably, well, if really distance, you'd probably go for the 6,000, got duck on me, or the 7,000, but this has still got plenty of line capacity on it. And it's also braid ready, so you don't need to back it up with any kind of mono, just go straight onto braid, and it's absolutely fine to use that as well. Now, I'm very close to either hooking a duck or a carp right now. One other thing to mention is on the back you've got a bait runner. Now this is really discreet actually, long gone are the days when you had a really clunky big switch on the back unless that's what you like. Am I in? No. Uh, it's really discreet and it's got a really micro adjustable drag setting underneath the clip. So if you do that you can see there's a little runner here that allows you to adjust the uh, bait runner. So if you were using this uh, on the deck or if I just put this service controller out and want to put some bait out, I can flick that on, put it down and know that it's then on free spool. But as soon as I wind, clicks back off the free spool and I'm back into the settings that I've had it set for before. And I've got the carp all over me, so I don't know how I haven't hooked up to one just now. And the bail arm clicks into place like that, so there's no risk of it falling over when you're casting out and then casting straight into the margin, cast out perfectly. But it's also made of a thick aluminium, so it's nice and strong. It's not gonna be liable to bending and getting bashed around in the car or just generally getting chucked around in your sessions. And the body is made of polymetric, so nice and sturdy materials all around. And I think, yep, I am in. So, <laughs> how's that for timing? Oh, he's not happy on the surface. And it's come off. So now I'm winding in, just on cue, I, I planned that to happen. Very, very smooth, and that's because it's got lots of ball bearings inside, as most reels do these days. But the different thing about this is they're corrosion resistant. So if you wanted to use these on saltwater venues, well, let's say saltwater venues, the sea, things that have salt in, then you can use that and it won't corrode. Nothing wrong with that. 
apart from a very dinked hook. Now a couple of other things to bring up, the handle, quite smart looking, you've got a rosewood knob at the end of it, but it's also got one touch folding handle. So there you go, so if you're someone that likes to fold your handles nice and neatly when you're uh, on the bank, you're all nice and close, you can do so, but it also makes it quicker, fold them up at the end of your session and it just locks back into place like so. So really quick and easy to use and nice and smart looking. So uh, that just kind of completes off the whole reel. I'm determined to get another one off the top because uh, one, I don't like to be beaten by the fish, but two, this really is a really nice reel to use. It's so refined. Fish moved to the left of me. And one last thing to pick up on, it's the slow oscillation, as you can see there. Not ultra slow, but slow enough to give you that perfect line lay, and that's helping me cast consistently and smoothly every single time as well. Now this one went off with the uh, rod on the floor. Bait runner on, so I was putting some more bait on. Not bait on the spot, sorry. There we go. So for more information on the uh, Mitchell Full Runner MX6, this is the 5000, you've got the 6000 and the 7000. And please visit the uh, Mitchell website. Just watching. See you again soon.